a preview of the scripted 2019 World Series championship matchup of Major League Baseball. I called the winner over a year ago. That's, that's a year in five months. I called the World Series matchup for 2019 back in 2018. Let's break it down. What's happening here? The last National League winner occurred back in 2016 when the Chicago Cubs were the 48th National League team to win the World Series. It is the Dodgers that are beginning their World Series run against the Washington Nationals. The reason why they're beginning their World Series run against the Washington Nationals is because there have been 48 prior winners of the World Series in the National League. It is the Nationals that has Demetria of 48 in the Dodgers World Series run to become the 49th team to win the World Series is going to begin against Washington. It is Washington that has Demetria of 49. In a best of five series, it is the Washington Nationals that are going to end up losing three games to the Dodgers. The Nationals are going to lose game number 72 against the Dodgers. It is Dodgers that has Demetri of 72. I expect the Nationals to win a home game against the Dodgers, to win their 51st home game of the year. Well, actually, they, they won their 51st home game against Milwaukee, I believe it was. It was a game-winning uh, ga uh, wild-card game against Milwaukee. Now, now, that happened because it is the Dodgers that equals 51. I think the Dodgers will win the series 3-1 to one against the Nationals. Washington is the capital of the United States. There were 13 colonies. It is L.A., the 12th and the first letter that equal 13. The Houston Astros against Minnesota in the American League. It is the Astros that are going to defeat the... Well, yeah, they're, they're going to they're gonna win the series against... Who is it they're playing? the Rays. So they begin against the Rays. They are going to win their 110th game to advance. Now, are they going to face off against Minnesota? Well, not quite. But what I'm showing you here is a Demetria narrative. It's not going to be Minnesota that they're going to face off against. It, rather, it is the New York Yankees that they're going to face off in the NLCS. I predicted that a long time ago. It's, it's, it's in my playlist. So the Houston Astros, I think, are going to end up winning the ALCS. Or they're, they're going to lose to the Yankees 4-1. to one. So here we have the Yankees. They have 103 wins. They're going to win three games. God damn it. Here my mouse almost disappeared on, on, on myself. So... Let me scroll down to Houston. It is the Astros that are going to win their 111th game against the New York Yankees in the in the ALCS. New York has to match of 111. Now they could uh, end up winning 112 games because it is Houston that has Demetria of 112. So they could end the year with 112 wins. It's certainly possible the Yankees could end up winning the ALCS 4-2. to two. I'd probably say 4-2 to two if they're going to squeeze an extra game in there, but the Astros win a game over at New York. They do. I think they do win a game over at the Bronx here. And now on the New York side, on the New York Yankees side, it is the Yankees that are going to win 106 games to eliminate the Minnesota Twins. The reason why that is happening, once I scroll down here, it's because it is prophecy that equals 106. They're going to enter the ALCS with 106 wins. They are going to win the ALCS. Their 110th win is going to eliminate the Astros. Uh, the Yankees' 2009 World Series title it began against Minnesota. Another World Series run is, is going to begin against Minnesota this year, but it doesn't mean that they're going to win the World Series. When you look at the standings, the Yankees won 57 home games. World Series has to match 57. 
However, the Yankees are going to be facing off against the Dodgers. Because when you scroll down to the Dodgers win total, the Dodgers have 106 wins. The Dodgers are going to win three against the Atlanta Braves. And they are going to win four games against the Braves to enter the World Series with 113 wins. It is 2019 World Series champions that equals 113. The Dodgers are going to enter the World Series with 113 wins. The World Series is going to end over at Los Angeles, California. It is Los Angeles, California that has Demetria of 113. When we talk about the St. Louis Cardinals and the Atlanta Braves, 74 is a very significant number to the free Masonic gang out there that rigs and scripts the World Series. But before I get to that, the Dodgers won 59 games at home this year. In Demetri, it is Dodger Stadium that equals 59, where the World Series is going to end. The team from Atlanta, Georgia, is going to face off against the Dodgers, and they're going to get eliminated over at Dodger Stadium. I want you to notice with the Atlanta Braves here that the Atlanta Braves are not going to lose three games to end their year against the St. Louis Cardinals because the Braves' win total would be 60, loss total would be 68. The Braves will be losing their 69th game of the season. It is Atlanta that has Demetria of 69. They are going to be advancing to the next round. The Braves are going to win their 100th game of the season. It is, in Demetria, it is the Braves that has Demetria of 100. This is why the Braves are going to advance to the NLCS against the Los Angeles Dodgers. It has everything to do with Demetria. Breaking down the Tampa Bay Rays, breaking down their win total, how the Rays are going to do in the playoffs. Let's go to the American League. Actually, let's go to St. Louis Cardinals win total. Cardinals are going to lose their 74th game of the year. They're going to lose to the Atlanta Braves. It's Masonic. It is O'Call. It is Demetri that equals 74. These are all very significant numbers to the Masonic Occultic gang that runs Major League Baseball, and they completely revolve the playoffs around this system. In fact, there's 162 games during the regular season. It's Major League Baseball owners that are Kabbalists. Major League Baseball has Demetri of 162. When we go to the Tampa Bay Rays, when we go to Tampa Bay in the American League, the Rays have lost a total of 66 games. The Rays are going to lose their 69th game against Houston. They are going to have, they have 97 wins right now. Their win, their win total could be at nine, at ninety nine, don't, don't be surprised if the Rays, uh, even the series against the Houston Astros, I could uh, see that happening because in Demetria it is Rays, or rather, oh, I thought Rays equaled the Rays equals thirty three. Okay, well, this concludes my part on Tampa Bay here. It would be pretty cool to see Tampa Bay in New York, but it's not going to happen that way. So the Yankees are going to win 10 games during the postseason run. They're going to end the year with 113 wins. This is what I'm going to predict for the Yankees. For the Yankees to lose the World Series with 113 wins over at Los Angeles, California against 2019 World Series champions because the Yankees, the Yankees, won a total of 103 games. They would enter the World Series with 110 wins. This is why the World Series is going to end in seven games this year. So they're going to enter the World Series with 110 wins. Their first win is going to be over at New York. They might come back over at New York. However, the season ends with the 113 wins. This is how their playoff run is going to be. How many losses do they enter the World Series with? That's a great question. Probably 62, and they lose their 66 game for the title in the World Series. 
because its title that has Demacho 66, that is a very important for itself. St. Louis Cardinals season is, is going to be over here. The Houston Astros are probably going to end the year with the under 12 wins. Yankees over Astros. Dodgers over the Braves for the NLCS. I'm going to link my uh, pennant prediction videos up here. They could beat St. Louis 3-1 to here. They could end up losing their 70th game to the Dodgers. They, they, they would be playing for the chance to win a title. If they were to enter the NLCS with 21 losses. That's exactly why Atlanta's got fans. Uh, Atlanta has the Sun Life Stadium. The Braves are going to raise some money for that new stadium that they have. This is how they're going to completely rig the division series against St. Louis. Sun Trust Park. Okay, that's interesting. That's good to note here, and this concludes my preview. You know, the the 110 for Houston would reinforce the narratives from Minnesota, but the Yankees are going to eliminate the Minnesota Twins. For the Minnesota Twins, they're going to lose their 64th game of the season against the New York Yankees to be eliminated. It's because New York Yankees has Demacia of 64. Completely decoded that way. They're going to lose two games at the Bronx for sure. 28th loss against the New York Yankees playing for their 28th World Series championship. They will probably end the year with a win at home, I'm sure. But then they're going to lose. In the, but then they're going to remain at 47 wins at home after they lose to Aaron Judge. But this is going to connect to the 2020 World Series here. It's going to be the Yankees over the Dodgers. It's going to be the Dodgers over the Yankees, Freudian slip. It's going to be the Dodgers over the Yankees, as, as I have predicted months and months and months and months and months ago. Your Major League Baseball is rigged and scripted. Baseball snowflakes. It's time to get over it.